What's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this wonderful channel from. This is John Willis Entertainment. You are welcome. I'm here to give you all of all the trends, all the happenings in Nigeria, Africa and globally, especially when it comes to entertainment. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so as to be alerted whenever I upload hot new trading content. Let us start with entertainment news. We have this good news that top four albums on Apple Music Top four Nigerian albums on Apple.ng. We have Asake, Mr. Money with the vibe as number one. That album has been doing numbers. And also we have Love is Not Enough by Young John as number two. Uh, we are we have 19 and Dangerous by Ayasta, the deluxe edition of the album. And finally, on number four, we have Wandiko Mushin to Move Hits. That album is lit. For those of us who listen to the album when it was released years ago and who are still listening to it now, we can vibe to that album. That album is late. Big ups and congratulations to Juan Dico. Don Jazzy did a good job on that album. Two albums on the list were done by Don Jazzy, were produced by Don Jazzy. We have 19 and Dangerous by Ayasta and we have Mushin to More Hits by Juan Dico. Congratulations to Don Jazzy for the trending in Nigeria. But before then, let us talk about yeah. Let us talk about one of the hottest cross dressers in the country. You know, when it comes to cross dressing, if you are naming five cross dressers in Nigeria, you name Bob Risky, you name James Brown. There are so many of them right now. James Brown, who is the self acclaimed princess of Africa, A F R I C O W. That is James Brown. Finally, returns back to her factory default setting as she declares himself the king of africa sometimes we get confused he came up and told us he is the princess of africa and now it's like he's going back to his default sentence are you sure this guy has not repented i did a video a few days ago of um uh, of people calling out uh people like Boriski and james brown that they should be arrested by the the uh, federal government and not only that that the big brother major should be scrapped because it's it, it, it has nothing to do with our values, our local cultures and our local value that the Big Brother Niger show is, isn't promoting our local cultures and our local values. And that the likes of Boriskis and, and, and James Brown that they should be arrested. But well, it's like James Brown has repented. The famous influencer James Brown has revealed why he acts and dresses like a woman. When asked, he replied, because it pays the bills. Naturally, being a woman can make you wealthy if you are smart. I can teach. Hmm. Right now, the, the big question is, what version of James Brown is your favorite? The he version or the, the she version? As you can see from the picture, please, the comment section is open for you or to drop your comments. Talking about what is trending in Nigeria, hmm. only of Ife is actually trending. Oni of Ife has been trending for this now. He is in his early 50s and from reports, he has been married to several women. He got married to two women in one month. That is like, that's like breaking records. We have this news that, you know, and he's been trending on uh, Twitter. Let me read some tweets from you. Someone said, Oni of Ife to marry his sixth wife, Princess Temit Tope. At this second on Monday, October 24th. When that person said, How a the minister statement made a man push me to ask God for a blessing that will shock people, only of his first third wife. So many persons have been dropping in comments regarding this. He's been married to, he has six wives now. And funny enough, well, let me read other tweets for you. Other person said, What's funny about this only of a fair thing is that he's speaking educated and well-to-do women. So nobody can even use the excuse of is because they are not exposed. Hmm. Other person said, I love only of a fair though. He's marrying their own models. <laughs> Other person said, some of you are still single because only of a fair has married their future wife. Voila. <laughs> Well, only of 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 if uh, have been trending. I mean, he's been getting married six wives. He got married to two wives in like in in the month of October, and maybe he will get married to uh, another wife because I, I, I saw this. I saw this news too on IG about a lady. She she said, "This is my submission to be 
on his eight wife that means he has seven wife that i am also a medical doctor and i will represent twitter and a community well how on asian well a medical doctor is, is just declare her own interest in becoming honest eight wife as she pre as she prepares to marry the seventh one yes she's actually preparing to get married to the seventh wife today so another lady is lining up to become his eighth wife and they are all educated most of them have master's degree i mean some of them are content creators they are good i mean they are business women they are doing very well you can imagine this lady who is a, a medical doctor even submitting her her request to become the only eighth wife man this guy is trendy eight wives well it's like he's gradually becoming the king solomon of uh, our time you know in bible we read that king Solomon got married to 300 ladies and he had about 700 con cobas. What? So far, so good. Only of Ife will be getting married to the seventh wife today. And maybe by the end of the month, because we are still in October, he will be getting married to the eighth wife because the medical doctor just submitted her uh, proposals to become his eighth wife. The comment session is open for you. It's coming 2023, just by the corner. And very soon, be determined who will become the next president of the country. The PDP has been doing their campaign. The Labour Party has been doing their campaign. The APC has also been doing their campaign. Everybody's gearing up towards becoming the president of the country in 2023. We have so many political parties, but the three political parties I just mentioned are like the three pillars. We know we'll be getting at least one of them, one presidential candidate from one of those three parties, APC, PDP, and Labour Party. One of them will become the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from analysis we have this news I've, i found this quite interesting let me share it with you guys that i have never seen a fine man from edu <laughs> we can see the picture of the former edu state governor and the present edu state governor so we'll reply to this that edu men know the career for face <laughs> now when men suppose fine they define as an edu woman married to an edu man i confirm to you they find where men suppose fine while I played that came for a desk of activists, Aisha Yesufu. She responded after Twitter user said that he has, uh, or she has never seen a fine a do man or a fine man from a do. What do you have to say regarding that? Please, the comment section is open for you all to drop your comments. So much has been happening, so much drama has been happening in our beloved country, Nigeria. Let me read this out to you that. Recently, we have this news that the UAE government sentences Nigerian woman to one year jail term over Twitter posts on how Nigerians were illegally detained at Dubai airport. What is the way forward for us in this country? We can't even express ourselves because she expressed herself, telling us of what happened at uh, Dubai airport. She has been arrested and she'll be spending like one year. Regarding the drama going on in the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, we have this terrible news that UAE slams visa ban on Nigerians, rejects application. That you that authorities of the United Arab Emirates on Friday, October 21st, slammed a visa ban on Nigerians seeking to visit Dubai. In a notice issued to its trade partners in Nigeria, which include travel agents, the Dubai authorities added that all submitted applications are rejected and fees are not refundable. What is the way forward for us in this country? Can we do that to the bad citizens, like banning them from coming to this country? Well, the comment section is open for everybody to drop his or her comments. You know, we have freedom of expression. Please don't forget to drop our comments on the comment section below. Finally, let us move on to the United States of America. Let's talk about Kanye West. He, he has been trending. I watched this video recently of you when he was being interviewed and he was referred to as a, 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 a billionaire. He, he said, no, he's not just a billionaire, but he's a multi billionaire. That is it for you. He's been trending. I mean, he's been causing so many, so much, there, so many controversies on on uh, social media. Recently, he wore the White Life Matter shirts, and he went through so so much attack. And his speeches, and he, ha he has been having these issues with uh, Balenciaga, with uh, Adidas, with so many big companies, with with, uh, with a big name. You know, they've they've been withdrawing partnerships with him. But recently he came up and applauded. You know, there's one thing about Kenya, it's like off and on. That is his style. We have this news that in battle, Kenya West hires Johnny Depp's lawyer, Camille Vasquez. For those who don't remember, I posted that in one of my 
my my my video when they have had this issue with the amber head this lawyer you know he, he used this lawyer and i want the case and few weeks after winning the case they were dating and the lawyer is going through divorce proceedings you know when she was seen with johnny depp drama everywhere well we have this news that Ken West has hired johnny depp's fierce attorney who helped him beat ex-wife and by heads defamation suits according to a report on friday that the embattle rapper snapped up 38 year old lawyer Camille Vasquez and others to oversee to oversee his business deals and contracts. Sources close to West told TMZ. The 45-year-old gold digger rapper has reportedly faced financial fallout over the wild anti-Semitic attacks he leveled on Twitter earlier this month. West Ted and West stirred up controversy on October 10 when he tweeted that he was going dead country on jewish people prompting the fashion firm balisaga to cut ties with him this week vasquez who specializes in litigation and arbitration for the firm broke rodnick represented deep in his bombshell case against head from april to june well the conversation is open for you all to talk about most times his statements are, you know, contrary to what he wants. Thank you guys for watching this wonderful channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and make sure you drop a comment on the notification. See you guys soon.